Hello and welcome to this video. Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to use um, the polygon fill tools. I was asked this the other day, how to fill polygons. It's pretty straightforward, but uh, I'm going to show you how to do it in this video. Remember this lantern? Anybody who's been on this channel for a while will recognize this. This is one of the first ones I did on this channel. It's, uh, it's just the lantern I modeled a long time ago. So what we're going to do is just going to, I'm just going to show you how to sort of separate maybe, for example, if you wanted a different material on the handles to the base or, or the top. Uh, so this would be a different material to this or this. Then you could use this technique to separate them quite easily. So what we're going to do is we've got two materials over here, glass. Let's just put this back on to 3D only for a minute. We've got glass here, which we can turn on and off, obviously. I'm gonna leave that there. And we've got metal, which is the rest of it, basically, here. Two materials. However, we're gonna split this metal up into maybe another material, like I might have different handles. Maybe I wanna put some sort of stringy, sort of grip texture on here, and um, something different again on the metal itself okay so what we're going to do is we are going to expose the polygon so i'm going to put put it back on 2d 3d here like this both let's just zoom in here i mean this is version let me just check uh 2021.1.0 and i have to say substance painter is just getting better and better and better with time it's just an amazing package and um, if you're a texture artist you should you need this in your life pretty much okay so we're gonna make sure metal is selected we're gonna do put a fill layer in here and um, we're gonna change the color I'm just gonna make it I don't know whatever color you want let me get blue that's quite cool um, Actually, blue is quite somber. Let's make it a positive color. Let's make it a bit greener. Um, a bit orange. Yeah, let's just do that. Just so we can see what we're doing here. Okay, so now I want to... That's nice. But I want to split these off. I want to split the handles off. So I'm going to put in... Add a black mask so I cancel it all out. And now I'm going to do say I want this orange to be on the handle here uh, so let's just uh, make sure fill layer is selected up here the mask I'm going to come over here to uh, the polygon fill tool here and select that and straight away you notice that you can see all the polygons there's a little bug here <laughs> they don't show up here until you move the image so that needs a refresh substance if you're watching this when you click that button, you need to refresh the polygon uh, drawing wireframe in both windows, not just the 3D one. Um, anyway, um, so now I've got these three tools down here. I've got three fill modes. I've got a triangle fill, I've got a polygon fill, and I've got a mesh fill here. Make sure your slider here is up on white. If it's black, you, nothing will happen because it's already black. If it's white, you are saying to Substance Painter that you want to exp you want this color to be used in these polygons effectively. So then we just come over here and we start selecting. We select. We can do it on a triangle level like this. So I can go through and select all my little triangles here like that. And if you look at our, our mask, you can see it's starting to fill, and that's quite laborious. So let's just undo that because we don't want to do that anyway. And you can come to uh, Polygon Fill, which again does the same pretty much, but it does it on a polygon level and not a triangle level. Or we can use Mesh, which is what we're going to use here. Mesh Fill, and we're just going to select these handles in here. And we can do it on the 3D part, or we can do it in the 2D part, and that's it, job done. And it knows that uh, that's mesh because a it's, it is a separate mesh because when I modeled it I created these separate and I just pushed it into the geometry and the UV islands are separate as well 
And that is all you need. We can add another fill layer here. We can add another black mask. Um, in fact, let's just put that one on the top. Let's make this blue here, just like that. There we go. So we can then just go around and do the same again. Select the mask and just, you know, we can just select everything, everything else pretty much that we want blue. Simple. That's it. That and that. That's how simple it is. We can turn wireframe off. Let's just click that off. Let's select our brush there. Just turn off. Uh, again, it doesn't update. <laughs> you need to update this window. Um, 3D only, and there we go. I've masked off. You know, I've now got glass, which is a separate material anyway. And now I've got a material for my handles, and I've got a material for my uh, for the rest of the metal. So that's it. That's how you do it. It's very, very simple. And um, yeah, so I hope you found that useful. And I will see you next time. Bye for now.